With Alabama Senator Richard Shelby retiring at the end of his term this year, that frees up a coveted Senate seat to represent Alabama. And we've talked with Congressman Mo Brooks and Katie Britt here on CBS 42 about their run for the seat. And joining us now is another candidate, Mike Durant. Mike, it is a pleasure to meet you. Well, it's great to meet you as well. So many people know your story. They may not have remembered your name, but your story, the nightmare you went through in Mogadishu um, in that Black Hawk helicopter. Tell us about that. Refresh our viewers' minds on that. Well, most people know it as Black Hawk Down. You know, it happened in 1993, so it's been a long time. But it, it certainly had an impact as, uh, on the military community. And I think most people in general, actually, it was a, you know, we were not at war anywhere. And I think that was part of the issue, is that it was really a shock effect. You know, I wouldn't put it on the scale of a, you know, 9-11 or anything like that. But, you know, people didn't expect that sort of thing to happen from what was being advertised as a peacekeeping operation. Mm -hmm. But uh, it certainly wasn't a peacekeeping operation in terms of what we were involved in. We were trying to capture terrorists as part of a special operations unit. And uh, on that day, it, it was a pretty significant firefight. It would be considered your 9-11 for what you went through during all of that. Well, certainly the, the biggest event in my life. But, you know, what I like to tell people is I was in the military for 22 years, and that was one day. There were lots of other things that, you know, most of which went really, really well. Unfortunately, that one, uh, you know, obviously the most challenging thing I experienced. So that motivates you to run for this office here in the state of Alabama. Why is that? Well, that plus the fact that I'm a business owner. I started a company here in, in Alabama uh, when I moved here uh, right after retiring in, the, you know, in 2001. And and so I have really two resumes that I can leverage, the business experience and the military experience. And when I look today at the kind of people that are serving our country in leadership positions, their lack of experience, the fact that they're career politicians, they don't understand the true impacts of the decisions they make or the votes that they cast. Whereas. I understand it. I mean, I, I know what those things mean, not in a theoretical sense, but in a real sense, because I've lived it. And I think it, it's going to help me make better decisions and support the right things in my, in my political career. Um, day one, you came out swinging against Mo Brooks, and it was because of, of the military. Explain that. Well, you know, to me, of all the things the federal government does, I would argue the most important thing is a strong military. We don't necessarily want to use it, but we need to have it. And you can't create it overnight. So a lot of these budget arguments that we have and not supporting the NDAA and various things, they hurt our readiness. And readiness is what it's all about. I mean, when, when we need our military to do something, you know, we're not going to have two years to catch back up. It has to be ready all the time. So we need to support the weapon systems, the people, the infrastructure, all the things that it takes to have a capable and ready force. And, and you know, to me, that's where Mo gets off track. Very, quite often, actually. Bringing funding back for the military right. uh, is something that you mentioned. Um, you, you know that Donald Trump has supported Mo Brooks in the past. How do you get around that in the state of Alabama? Well, I'm a pro-Trump candidate. I mean, when, when President Trump endorsed Mo, I wasn't in the race yet. So, you know, who's to say what he would have done had I been in the race? But point being, I'm, I'm a pro-Trump candidate. The America First agenda is my agenda. I agree with it 100 percent. You know, I wish President Trump were still president today. I mean, he did great things for the country. Uh, you know, obviously the people in Alabama support him, and uh, I want to further that agenda. Mike Durant, it's great to meet you, and I look forward to more conversations with you. Thanks so much. We'll be right back here on the CBS 42 Morning News.